Hello, good morning. We're on a plane. Oh, now that guy's looking at me. Hello, yep. sir. <laughs> How are you? Yep. Great. Okay. We're, uh, we're gonna fly. On. We're on the same flight. But we're going to different places. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go to Toronto. And Mavis gonna go to Toronto and then Chicago. To Toronto and then Chicago. That's crazy. That we ended up on the same flight. It wasn't even intentional, it just kind of happened. Uh, yeah, for real. We like found out last night. We were like, oh, that's it's pretty weird. sick. Cool. Please review its contents prior to takeoff. That's weird. Shut up. Hey. Get out of here. So I said goodbye to Ava, who flew to another country, America, the United States of America. I live in America, but I'm not an American, I'm a Canadian. She's gone. And uh, I went into Blue Ant, did some work at some Blue Ant stuff, and uh, now I'm at Union Station, which is like the main train and bus station for Toronto. And me and Jeb are just getting some, getting some Toronto food. Hey, goodbye. Hey, what's up, man? Show me your sushi. Look, I got sushi. Look, I got a lot of sushi, actually. Train station sushi. And you know what? It's not bad. It was actually pretty delicious. Um, so, yeah, I just have to eat it before we get on the train. How was your weekend? It was a good weekend. I uh, went to Ikea. <laughs> good. Looked at cribs. Good. Domestic stuff. Yeah. It's like cribs, infinite edition. That's right. Why were you looking at cribs? Um, for... Reasons pertaining to forthcoming announcements. Okay, cool. I look forward to those forthcoming announcements. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't love going to Ikea? Have you ever seen that movie 500 Days of Summer? When they're running around Ikea? It's really cute. Hey, what's up? I'm still in Hamilton! Oh, no! Oh! So I'm still here, but that's only because I had some work to do before I came back. One of those things was um, I agreed to edit some videos for a conference that's being held in Hamilton. So some friends of mine are hosting it and they're like, yeah, so some of the people that we wanted to come out to speak couldn't come out. So they made videos and they're not that great. And we were hoping that you could edit them so that we can put them up and teach people stuff. So I was like, sure. And then they sent me the files and now I'm working on it. And it's been a learning experience, I'll say that much. I'm not really used to editing stuff that isn't like apprentice a quality and this stuff is pretty rough some of it's like 480p and just you know webcam dealios obviously it's not really meant to be like cinematic quality so i'm just doing doing my best doing what i can i'm definitely learning a lot about editing definitely like going back and teaching myself things that i'm not used to having to do because of editing the vlogs, which is really easy and straightforward. I've also been doing a lot of work in Photoshop, just giant files on my computer that have been there forever, and now I'm going to finish them. It's difficult because Photoshop is probably the most cranky, like, program on my computer. I can't open more than one file at a time, and it's... If it gets too big, it's just like, nope, I'm gonna shut down now. It's good for practicing, like, saving a lot and figuring out creative ways to get the program to do what you want it to do. I gotta say, though, the weirdest thing about this weekend at home has been, like, that the house is empty while I'm working all day, which is weird because usually I'm working in a house full of people. But, I mean, it's probably good for you to have a little alone time now and then. Sometimes I'll just, like, stop working to go and, like, do dishes or do something just to make it seem like there's like other people here which like sounds kind of sad but it's just I'm just not used to being alone all day so I am looking forward to going home tomorrow and seeing everyone and asking a million questions about how to edit because I'm so lost right now sometimes this house is really creepy because it's old so for some reason I have a tiny door by this bed, and if I open up this closet, oh look, another tiny door that's slightly ajar. What's well, I, I don't know if I want to go in there. The first time I found that door, it scared the heck out of me because of the um 
air pressure when you close this door. Um, I open the door, it just sort of opens on its own. Okay. I'm home alone. That's all right. Karata, Saskia. Yes, Corey Vidal. I want to inform you, because not only are you my friends, you're also my family. Wow. That I have decided to be an organ donor. <laughs> oh. I needed to inform you. <laughs> You've been informed. Wow. Thank you. Oh, no, no, thank you. I need a kidney. <laughs> All right, Black, so after much deliberation and frustration, I think we've got the volunteer numbers figured out. I think. This is my chart today. It looks 100% different from the chart yesterday, so that's good news. Crado helped me figure some stuff out, and the two of us had a meeting with Amy, uh, and then... I sat and stared at the chart for a while. Uh, I made this guy, which is a map of the area so I can figure out where all of my people are supposed to be. I added up some numbers, and right now, unless things change, we need somewhere between 81 and 92.8 people. So that's good news. I don't know how we're gonna get that 0.8 of a person, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out. These numbers depend on how many hours the volunteers are able to give, so basically I added all of the hours that I figured out that we needed and divided it by 16 hours. So if every volunteer gives 16 hours, we need 81 people. If every volunteer gives 14 hours, we need 92.8 people. Uh, some people are gonna give more hours, some people are gonna give less hours, and that's why there's that variation. So until further notice, I've got my number, now I just gotta go through the list. I've already done a first pass. Out of the almost 400 people that volunteered, there's about 150 of you that I would absolutely love to have with me there at the event. Um, unfortunately, I can only pick 80 of you. So I'm really sorry to all of you who did apply, who I can't pick. Uh, I wish I could pick all of you. Um, but I do need to go through everybody and pick the people that I think are best suited for this event. And I just want to thank you all for applying again. I promise I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I want to get all the information out before tickets go on sale so that everybody knows what's going on. I'm probably going to spend all day tomorrow somehow picking 80 people out of the 150. Um, so that'll be fun. Until then, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm very tired. And I will see you all tomorrow. Good night. Give me daily vlogs. I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside so don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, hey, hey